To place a window, simply choose the Window tool and click to place. To resize the window, click and stretch to the desired size. Now that we have the walls, it's easy to place the doors and windows in 2D and 3D. First, I'll select the Window tool and click on a wall to place a window. Every architectural object you place in your plan contains a significant amount of information that you can specify. Let's double-click on this window and take a closer look. Notice all the tabs enabling you to customize the window to your exact requirements. Window type, dimensions, window options, sash and frame, casing, lights, moldings, materials, and more. Let's change the window's type to a single casement window and add an arch. As you make changes, you will notice the preview of the changes to the window. If we take a 3D view, you can see the window has updated automatically to include these changes. And remember, every detail you specify about architectural objects, including manufacturer information, will show up in your detailed materials list or schedule of materials that can be automatically generated, which we'll discuss that feature a little later. Let's take a 3D view and see how the windows look from the outside. To move or resize the window, simply click on it and move it or stretch to resize it. You can also copy and replicate windows to save design time. All architectural objects, like windows, remain fully editable even while in a 3D view. Placing doors works the same way as placing windows. As I place a door, you'll notice that I have several default doors to choose from. Hinged, sliding, pocket, garage, and several others. We'll choose the door tool and click to place a hinged door. Using the center tool, we can quickly ensure that the door is exactly centered in this wall. Click the door, then the center tool, and then click the item you want to center it on, in this case, the inside wall. If you select the door in the 2D plan view, you will see a set of temporary dimensions and can use them to precisely locate the door. Or you can set a manual dimension, which can be used to locate the door. Dimensions can be adjusted to locate centers, casings, openings, and more. To change the door's swing or hinge side of the door, click on either the Change Opening, Hinge Side, or Change Swing Side button. Again, to save time, I'll place the rest of the doors and windows for our house. And that's how easy it is to place windows and doors with Chief Architect.